studies is a class for now. And in our class today, we'll talk about road safety as agent of socialization. Remember, we are still on our socialization class. The other time, we discuss what socialization is. And in our last class, we atomize the importance of socialization to a child, not only a child, even adults. Today, we want to see how road safety is an agent of socialization. How does it interact with us, with the students, to make them better? But before we talk about how it socialize with students, we want to first know what is road safety in our class for today. Then explain what FROSC means. Then we will take the structure on how to establish a road safety club in the school. What is road safety? Road safety, this is the method and measures used to prevent road users from being killed or seriously injured. Road safety is a method and measures used to prevent road users from being seriously injured or being killed. There are modality put in place, routes, codes, to help road users know the right way to go as they are using the roads. Because there are a lot of things that are involved. There are a lot of things that need to be done for injuries, accidents to be minimized. That is what road safety is. Making sure that road users are kept safe from accident and from being killed. Though these things are inevitable, but to a great measure, how can it be reduced? We have seen what road safety is. Then, FROSC, it's Federal Road Safety Corps. This is the agency with statutory responsibility for road safety administration in Nigeria. Why this is generally what road safety means in the general world? Then the FROC is a Federal Road Safety Corps, which is established in Nigeria. It's an agency found in Nigeria that has the statutory responsibility, the law put them in place to administer or to see the affair that concerns our safety on the road. That is for FROSC. So Federal Road Safety Corps is FROSC and it's an agency that the Nigerian government have put in place to take charge of our roads, lay down rules, execute rules, create awareness, make people to know what they are supposed to do. Now, we are going to our next uh, subtopic, structures on how to establish road safety clubs in school. This is where the road safety agency interacts with the students, with individuals, with the general public. How is this structure made? How does it work? And why do we need this structure? So let's take the number two on our subtopic. So let's take the structure of how to establish a road safety club in schools. Because this is where the socialization comes in. Remember, the so uh, remember socialization is an act of learning and relearning. And so road safety clubs in a school help the students to socialize with the road safety core groups and see how this socialization affects them positively. And so for them to have the impact of this road safety group, what do they need to do? They need to form clubs in school to create awareness, help them to know and help them to socialize. Now, what do they need to do to get these clubs started? The number one, this is the process. I have listed one after the other. I have one, two, three, four, five, six process. The first one is the school applied to the nearest command that they want to establish a road safety group or a, safety, a road safety club in their school. And then the command give approval to the school that they will come over to establish those clubs. Or 
the command, seeing that the school did not approach them, and it's a basic need that the society has needs, or the school needs, what will they do? The command will then approach the school authority, informing them, letting them know that they want to establish a road safety club in their school. So after this first step are met, what is the next thing that is to be done? After the approval by the command, either the school approaches them or the command approaches the school, what they do next is they will come for induction program. Introduction of the course to the school. And during this induction program, Brief lectures are held to let them know what road safety really is, what are the activities, why is it important, what do they need to do, what will be their responsibility, what will be their duty since they have a club already in their school. This uh, is what the induction program take, uh, look like. And during this induction program, there are uniforms that are presented to these club members booklets and then lectures on the purpose of why they have established the club. So during the induction program, we see some people who are called marshals. They put on a road safety uniform, not their complete uniform, but something like a jacket, like an apron, mm -hmm, to signify that you belong to the road safety uh, club. So they are presented with uniform. They are given booklets to see the road safety code, what are the road safety uh, laws, principles, and what do they need to understand as regards road safety? What will they do? What will they advise others to do? How can they create awareness? And then the purpose of which the induction is being carried out. That is the second step under the structure of establishing uh, a road safety club in school. Then after the induction, the road safety officials come for training programs. They come to train the students who belong to the road safety club on what they are supposed to do. These trainings can be weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, depending on what the command have put in place, depending on their activities, their program and the way they have structured the program to be. And so they come for uh, training at frequent intervals to create awareness to the children, to the students, help them know what they don't understand, help them to know why that club is created. Then after that, after creating, uh, after training them, they hold lectures which is part of the program too, they hold seminars too at intervals. It might not just be in the school that they hold this program and these seminars. They can invite these club members, that uh, these students that belong to the Road Safety Club, to seminars that are held in other places, to socialize with other members. It, it can be members of the general public who are members of the road safety club that is not in the school. And so when they hold these lectures, the students are part of the lectures, other members of the public who are in their own form of club will equally be present while they listen to these lectures and then the seminars. Then after that, we have the organization of lectures and seminars. The, the, the organization, they organize rallies, they organize. They organize rallies. They organize rallies and involve the students. Rallies to create awareness to the general public. And after which they involve the student on road safety activities. You see, for example, during these rallies, the general public are educated on things they are supposed to know and the students being at the forefront with their flyers uh, and billboard to portray what they are out there for. Then thereafter, they engage the students on road safety activity, like controlling traffic, teaching them how to control traffic on highways, 
on busy places, on business place, on business areas, so that they can get involved in road safety activities. So that it's not just the road safety officials that will carry out these activities, but these students who belong to this club who have been trained, taught, uh -huh, they know how to carry out these activities. Then after which, these individuals, these students who are part of this club, takes the message to the general public, to their parents, to their neighbors, to those in the environment, letting them know, that's the last process, letting them know that this is what we do in road safety, this is what the law demands of you, this is what you are supposed to do. So this is the structure of how a road safety club, its um, structure, and how the process you can take to organize it. In our next class, we are going to see how that affects our socialization. How does the road safety club affect our socialization? Why is it important? Why do we need it? And what are the functions that needs to be carried out? Thank you for being part of our class. Until I see you in our next class, please watch these videos over and over again and prepare ahead to tell me more importance of why we need the road safety club in our schools.